Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, today, we have some more booster packs to open. Um, so we got five Darkness Ablaze packs. Still looking for that Charizard card, the VMAX. And we also got six more Hidden Fates packs. So I'm probably going to like mix these up a little bit. So we'll start with the Grim Snarl pack. I did go looking for Champion's Path today because I kind of thought that it was out now. It, it isn't. <laughs> it comes out this week, I think. So, all right, let's get going. I'm definitely gonna be opening that. Um, I love this Pupitar card, by the way. Really nice card. Um, I'm probably gonna be opening that one for, I think I'm gonna open Champion's Path this Monday because it comes out this Friday. Also like the Aeron card. Um, Hand Sage Reverse and a non holo Live card. Um, sorry, I keep getting like carried away with this. We got the Mew Hidden Fates. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna upload this video, not this Monday. Well, this Monday I'm opening the nine Hidden Fates packs. And then next Monday, I'll probably be opening Champion's Path, I'm thinking, if I can get my hands on some. And then I'll post this one the week after that. Um, fucking having difficulty with this. So hopefully we get some good pulls. These are again just flea market pulls. Um, <laughs> got these from the local flea market. Hidden Fates, it's the only place I can still find Hidden Fates that it's not like super, super overpriced. So anyway, we got Energy, Graveler. It's pretty interesting, I think, that they're putting Shiny Charizard into another set, like so soon. Um, Golem Reverse, and a new non holo rare. Um, yeah, I just think that's kind of crazy. Like, they found out that people cared about shiny Pokemon in the games, and then, um, since then, they've just been, like, mashing up the odds in the game, and they're just making it incredibly easy to find shinies, and now it's just, like, hidden fates, complete, you know, shiny sets, and shinies, and... <laughs> Shiny showing up in uh, multiple sets, pretty close together, so I don't know. Especially Charizard, like, I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, we'll focus that. Vibrava. So this is another Darkness Ablaze pack. We're still looking for the VMAX Charizard. Um, there's a couple other cards that I haven't pulled from here yet that I would be happy with that aren't the VMAX Charizard, non holo Greedent. Um, so yeah, like the hollow Agron would be nice. These fucking packs are hard to get open because I, I try to open them in such a way that like preserves the cards. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. So there's the code. We got Leaf Energy, Jinx. I like this Cubone art too, it's pretty nice. The Art and Champions Path too seems that it's like kind of getting a little bit better, so I'm appreciative of that. Another shiny Rowlet. Kind of looks like there's some damage to the edge there, and a hollow Jesse and James. Interesting. Cool, so we actually pulled Rowlet last time we opened Hidden Fades. Um, I don't really know. The centering, I think, looks off. I'm most more so like concerned about the fact that it kind of looked like, I know you can't really see it on the camera, but it looked like there was a bit of edge damage to that, so. That wasn't like too nice, but that's fine. I don't really plan on reselling it anyway, so. <laughs> um, I personally think that <laughs> the Champion's Path Shiny Charizard kind of looks counterfeit, like, in the times that I've seen it, and I know that doesn't make any sense, but, like, the card just, 
kind of appears to be counterfeit. I don't know why, like it's obviously not, but it's just the way that the art looks and everything, it just looks like not real, <laughs> to me at least. I also wanted to do some videos um, going over like my collection of games and my like childhood collection of cards, so that should be kind of interesting. If I can remember doing that, let's see what we got. Reverse hollow and wow, regular non hollow. Alright, so far pulls are a little bit lackluster, but it's okay. We got this Charizard VMAX pack. Hopefully gonna bring us home. No, I don't. I already saw it. God damn it. <laughs> it's so hard for me to not do that. I don't know why. One, two, three, four to the back. Cool. Water energy. I do like these energy cards though. I like the this. It just looks really nice. I don't know. Combuskin, that's a pretty nice art. Staravia, Zwilus. Zwilus. I like this art too. The Marini one was pretty nice. I think that's no, yeah, that's Darkness of Blaze. Toxel, Sinisty. This art's kind of nice. I like the background. <laughs> What's that one? Reverse Pupitar and Hollow Toxtricity. Not bad. This is actually a pretty nice card. I actually do like this one. I don't really know what's going on with the Toxel in the corner up there, but it's all good. Yeah, Hollow Toxtricity. Pretty nice. They have an interesting texture, the holo cards from this set, eh? A little bit liney. It's cool though. I'll put that to the side. It is now time for a Hidden Fates pack. Maybe the Charizard Hidden Fates pack can set us up nice with something. We will see. How do I open this without absolutely obliterating it? Whatever, I'm gonna just obliterate it, who cares? All right, let's see what the Charizard pack has for us. <laughs> Probably nothing, but it's all good. Is there two EV cards in this set? Is that what I just saw? Okay, reverse Metapod and a non hollow Golem, so not much of anything. Okay, another Darkness Ablaze pack. Maybe a uh, Darkness Ablaze will prove after all. I've actually opened way more Darkness Ablaze than I have Hidden Fates because I opened a whole uh, box, so. And I did not get very exciting pulls. I didn't record it for some reason, but it's okay. The pulls weren't like that great anyway, so. Let's see. But yeah, the art kind of seems to be getting a little bit nicer with every set, so. That's good at least. <laughs> like this. This card has such a nice art. Reverse Paris and a non hollow talent flame. Wow, that's too bad. This is a testament. There are three packs left. Are we going to just pull anything from these packs? We got two Hidden Fates, one Darkness Ablaze. So, yeah, let's get into it then. Charizard pack. Hopefully, this Charizard pack will have something good in it. Hopefully. Let's see what we got. Fire Energy, Misty's Determination. Gee, wow, a lot of trainers there. <laughs> okay. I think there is a good card here. There is. What is it? Whoa! Shiny Lucario GX. All right. And after that, a Hollow Misty's Water Command. I've never seen this card. Wow. Look at that though, the Lucario. A bit of damage to the edge on the top. Um, just looks a little bit like frayed or something. I don't know if you can see that. Well, oh, geez. Thumb's twitching it on me. Yeah, light edge damage. Again, I'm not very good at telling about centering or anything like that, but. Uh, looks fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a really good pull. I'm, I'm actually really happy about that. I'm really, really happy with that. 
Fuck yeah. And the hollow. Yeah, here's the hollow as well. Alright, and there is the Lucario GX Shiny. Very nice card. Very nice. Really happy with that Lucario card. That that sealed the deal on this opening for me, so that's all you need. There's another Darkness of Blaze pack. Second to last pack. But yeah, that that made the opening. It made everything worth it. <laughs> wow, this pack is getting fucked up. Man. Okay, just toss that in there. Show you that. Cool, cool. Um, one, two, three, four. To the front. Cool. All right, let's take a look. Carnivine. That's a pretty decent. I don't mind that. <laughs> Wow, the normal energy makes a return, eh? I actually really like Rookity, so I'm pretty happy with that card. Don't care for that. That's a pretty nice card as well. Not too crazy about that, to be honest. A reverse Hippopotas and a non hollow Ampharos. So that is it for the Darkness Ablaze packs. We did not really pull anything of value there. It's okay though, we have. One more Mewtwo pack that is a little bit dinked up on the top here and just looks like, it just looks fake. <laughs> I don't know, like poor production quality is probably the culprit, but it's okay. All right, let's get into the final Hidden Fate booster pack. Let's see what we've got. Sorry, I was just, I was just blocking the uh, camera there. I'm gonna rip it right open. Fuck that. Okay. Throw that over there. Code card. It's all yours. Now, one, two, three, four. What can we pull from this last Hidden Fates pack? We're gonna start off with this water energy. A Charmeleon. And I can see that there's an ultra rare in this pack. <laughs> I'm spoiling it. For myself, uh, the Charmeleon that is hopefully <laughs> a good omen. Misty's Determination, pretty decent Scyther, Slowpoke, Voltorb, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, a Reverse Hollow Eevee, and. Ah, <laughs> a Starmie GX. I actually have like four of these cards. I've pulled this card so many times, and then I've also pulled the Pinsir GX from this set as well. And I just keep pulling this card over and over and over again. That's why I stopped buying Hidden Fates, but you can just get a decent look at it. All right, so let's uh, recap what we pulled from this opening. So at the top here, from Darkness Ablaze, in our beautiful Hidden Fates sleeves, <laughs> we have a Toxtricity Hollow card. Pretty nice. That right there. We have a Hollow Jesse and James Trainer card, which you can't really see the Hollow foil in, but I have like 10 of these, so. Hidden Fates, again, we got Misty's Water Command, which I've literally never seen this card before. A Shiny Rowlet. A Starmie GX. And conclusively, the best pull of the video is this Shiny Lucario Full Art GX. So there's a little speck on the card here. I'm gonna have to pull it out of the sleeve and clean it. Give me a sec. All right, good as new, there she is. The Full Art Lucario GX Shiny card. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.